So you've probably seen this thing on Instagram where people ask you to comment a certain word under their post and then they automatically DM you a link to something. Well, there's an automation behind it and it's really easy to set up. So if you've ever wondered how to do this on your profile, you're in the right spot because I'm gonna show you how to do this fast, easy and free. All right, so we're gonna get into it right away, but first let me explain why this is better than telling your viewers to click the link in bio. So there are three reasons. First of all, this will boost your engagement because you'll get way more comments than usual, especially if the thing you're offering is valuable. Second of all, with this automation, you're not just telling people to click the link in bio, but you're sending them a message where you can greet them, give them some more details or share something exclusive and then give them the link, which helps you build that connection. It's also a great way to collect emails since you can set up an opt-in window in the message you send them. But this option is only available for paid accounts. And the last one, which I can't confirm 100% but I've heard some rumors about this. So allegedly Instagram decreases reach if you say link in bio in your video or have it written in your caption. So by creating this comment to DM automation you can avoid this. So the tool we're going to be using is ManyChat. They have a free and a paid version but your first thousand contacts are free. I'll put the link to ManyChat in the description below. So ManyChat has all types of automations for Instagram and other social media platforms. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on creating a DM to comment automation. And watch until the end because I'm going to show you how I test if the automation works before I post. So you can be 100% sure that it's gonna work. I had to find a way to test it out because I don't want the stress of posting, then people commenting and the automation not working, which has happened to me before. All right, so let's jump to the computer where I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so let's go to manychat.com and click on get started free button. Next is going to ask us which channel we'd like to start with. So we're going to click on Instagram. Then you're going to have to click continue to Facebook and sign in with your Facebook business page. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can create one on the spot in a minute. ManyChat requires certain permissions to build automations with Messenger, Instagram and WhatsApp. So that's why you're going to have to connect it to Facebook as well. Alright, so then you're just going to follow the steps to finish connecting your account. Now, I already have mine set up, so this is what it's going to look like when you land on the dashboard. As you can see, there are templates set up for different types of automations. For example, convert your Instagram comments into sales or use Instagram stories to generate more leads. You can also click on all templates where you'll find so many more, like build an email list in Instagram DMs or promote coupons through your stories and so on. If you click on one of the templates, it will give you the details on how it works and it will show you the preview. So these templates are pretty cool, but I usually just start from scratch. So as you can see, there's a sidebar on the left where you have different options. So click on automation and new automation on the top right. Then start from scratch. So this is our automation. It only has two steps, so it's pretty simple. The first one is a trigger and the second one is the DM. So trigger is a specific action that starts your automation. So in our case, it's when someone comments under your post. So let's click new trigger and the second option. So the trigger is when user comments on your post or real. real. So then it's going to ask you which post or reel are we setting an automation for. So we have three options here. Choose a specific post or a reel. It will show you your recent posts under it, so you could choose one here. The next option is all posts or reels or your next post or reel. So you'd normally choose the last one, right? But I like to choose the second one, so all posts or reels because I like to test if the automation is working on an old post, just to be 100% sure. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment. So then click continue. So now it's going to ask us what will start your DM automation. 
So these are the options. You're gonna choose comments that include these keywords and type in your keyword here. So write which keyword you want people to comment under your post. Then click continue. So now it's going to ask you if you'd like to set up a public reply in your feed. This means that the automation will reply to their comment. So for example, if they comment the keyword link, the automatic reply can be, I just sent you the link, please check your DMs. So there are a few suggestions here already. I usually add at least three. All right, then just click save and we're done with the trigger. So now we're gonna go to step two, which is the DM. So this is pretty straightforward. Just enter your text here. Let's say, hi, thanks for commenting. Here's the link to my freebie. So you can write whatever you want here. Then click add button and give the button a title. For example, click here. Then click on open website and copy paste your link here and click done. So here's your button right here. I'm gonna delete this one. So here it is. This is pretty basic, but you can write something more creative here. <laughs> so the last step is to click set live. All right, so our automation is live. All right, so now we're gonna test if it works. So since we chose the automation to work on all posts, it should already work on your old posts. So go to your personal Instagram account and comment the keyword under one of your older posts and see what happens. You should receive the DM we wrote in the previous step. So check the link if it's working or if there are any spelling mistakes. And if everything works, that's it, you're done. Post your next post and don't forget to add a call to action for them to comment your keyword and explain why they should do it. You can add a call to action to your video, your caption or in the comments. All right, so this is it. I really hope my explanation was clear and that you'll be able to set up your first Instagram automation without any problems. Comment below if you have any other questions and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.